How do you react though when someone, you know, from your playing staff comes in and says, "Boss, I think you've got, I think you're doing this wrongly." Good. Well, I ask him which way he thinks it should be done. We get down to it, and then we talk about it for 20 minutes, and then we decide I was right. The chances are you know Brian Clough as one of the all-time greatest managers in English football, but did you know he's also one of the all-time greatest players? In his native northeast of England, he had an almost unthinkable goal-scoring record with 251 goals in just 274 appearances before an injury prematurely ended his career. Despite only getting a single England cap, despite this record, he was known as one of the greatest forwards in the English game at the time. Today's challenge is to try and replicate his managerial career, not his playing career, but this could be another fun challenge if you do feel like playing as Middlesbrough and Sunderland and getting those 251 goals. Managers make good sides. There's no such thing as a side making a manager. So, Clough's career started in Hartlepool, which is a team that isn't in the game. So, that's not getting off to a good start. Instead of starting at Hartlepool, which of course we can't do, I would recommend maybe starting at Mansfield, who's a team that his son currently manages, Nigel Clough, or Burton Albion, who's a League One team that his son managed and was very close to where Brian lived most of his life. While the first couple of years of Cliff's career wasn't too impressive, this won't be too hard to replicate in the game either, he signed a certain John McGovern, who was a 16 year old at the time. John McGovern went on to captain both Derby and Nottingham Forest later on in Clough's career, including being part of Clough's European Cup winning team with Nottingham Forest. So the first part of this challenge that I'm going to recommend is use a youth academy player, get a 16 year old and try and make sure they've got high enough potential and then try and take them up the league with you at the same time. This shouldn't be too hard of a challenge but really that's all your first season needs to be is trying to get enough reputation to get a higher league move while also finding this player that you want to take along for the ride with you. And we're delighted to welcome Muhammad Ali. There's some fella in London, England named some Bran, uh, Bran Clough, some soccer player or something. I heard all the way in Indonesia that this fella talks too much. They say he's another Muhammad Ali. There's just one Muhammad Ali. I'm the talker. Now, Clough, I've had enough. Stop it. Well, are you going to stop it? <laughs> no, I want to fight him. <laughs> So after a couple of seasons at Hartlepool, Clough and his assistant manager Peter Taylor left to join Derby County, who had been in the second division for 15 years, which is a position not too dissimilar to how they are now, where they haven't been out of the league in either direction since 2009. Clough did what can only be described as a rebuilding job with Derby. He sold all but four players and re-signed pretty much an entire team for the next season, in which they finished second in the table. The next season back, when they were in the Premiership, they managed to finish 4th but were banned from Europe because of financial irregularities, a 9th place finish after that, and then finally Derby won the league in 1971-72. So this part of the challenge is also pretty straightforward. You don't have to take over Derby, but you have to get your championship level club into the Premier League and win the title within 3 seasons of the promotion. If God wanted us to play football in the clouds, he'd put grass there. The third part of this challenge is probably the hardest. Clough got Derby to the semi-final of the European Cup before being knocked out 3-1 on aggregate by Juventus. After the match, Clough went on a classic outburst and called Juventus cheating bastards. The next few seasons of Clough's career we won't include in this challenge because I'm not sure it's possible with how the career mode works at this time, but Clough had a couple of short-term stints with Brighton and Hove Albion and Leeds United. If you want to know a bit more about the Leeds United story, then watch The Damned United, it's a very good movie based around it. After these two brief spells, after falling out with the Derby board as well, he took over struggling second division side Nottingham Forest. We're despondent, obviously, not going to clone with a lead, but far from out of any competition. I hope anybody's not stupid enough to write us off. So this is the final part of the challenge. You need to drop down as far as you can. This might only be a relegation side in the Premier League because of how FIFA works. And then you have to do the whole thing again. So that means you have to try and get to the European Cup in a couple of seasons like he did. And then this time you have to win them back to back to match the great Brian Clough's ultimate achievement in football. Clough went on to spend almost 20 years at Nottingham Forest before eventually bowing out with a retirement and a relegation on his last day of his career, before eventually dying in 2004. 
Cliff was one of the masterminds of football, and I highly recommend, even if you don't do the challenge, to read up on him if you don't know too much about him. He's a legend all around the area where I grew up in the East Midlands of England, and he's one of those figures in football that's just respected by everyone, except probably Leeds and Leicester fans, who probably didn't like the Forest success, and of course the Leeds fallout was pretty spectacular. But for today's challenge, that's all I have to say. Uh, this was actually suggested by Corintano2003 on my Discord. I hope I said your name correctly, friend. But um, yeah, if you have any other ideas, feel free to let me know on my Discord. It'll be in the description, hopefully. So um, yeah, see you in the next one. Cheers.